to continue your collaboration in the exquisite course round robin, you downloaded a colleague's file, manipulated it and added your UU number to the name of the file, then you uploaded it by the second share deadline to the exquisite course share folder your instructor created and linked for you in your learning management system. The files from the first round now have two numbers in descending order, like VV, UU.TIF, where VV is a number higher than yours. Of course, if you are the last number, say 19, and you worked on number 01, you saved as a 1, 19.tif. Remember the underscores wherever there are spaces in good file naming convention. You won't hear me read them aloud in this demo. When all the new files have been uploaded, it's time to visit the folder and retrieve a file. Which file do you retrieve this time? You look for a file with two numbers, the first of which is two numbers higher than yours. If you are number 03, you are looking for the file named 05. 04.tif. Be super careful here to name files correctly and choose the correct file. This is the moment when most mistakes happen. If this confuses you, consult with the instructor by email and they'll clear it up. Find the correct file and download it to work on. Rename the file immediately by adding an underscore and your number to the original double number. Example, you are number 03 and you've downloaded 0504.tif, so you are renaming your file 0504.03.tif. If you're the lucky owner of the last number, and let's say that number is 19, use the file 0201.tif and rename it 020119.tif. And for even luckier next to last number, 18 in this example, the renamed file will be 019118.tif. Again, if this confuses you at all, email the instructor for help. After retrieving and renaming the correct file, the second round is similar to the first round, except the target layer is now the unlocked layer C. Open your newly renamed file and inspect the partial image you see in layer B. Under no circumstance should you open and peek at layer A. Open your original scanogram and find an element that relates to it. Copy and paste it into layer C. As with the first round, avoid totally obscuring the element in layer B, although overlaps are okay. Then, of course, keep reacting as you did with the last round. After about 20 minutes again, you command plus click to select all the layers except the lock layers B, A, and X, and choose merge layers. If you lose layer C doing this, just drag the merge layer to the right position, renaming it to C. When you are done with your reactions, it's time to prepare to share the final time. First, turn all layers except X completely off by clicking the eyeball icons in the layer palette. The file will appear completely black. No need to create layer masks this time. Unlock all layers. Save this file with the triple number you wrote in at the start of this round, and save it to your UU, XCorps, share folder in the cloud to back it up. When done, upload this final file to the exquisite Corp share folder linked at your learning management system main page by the final share deadline. Your work on this step is complete.